There's another surprise. What? Well, let's take a look at what's inside a little bit later in the video. Listen, this is actually something that I have seen literally no one on the internet talk about. It's a big product that Apple's gonna be launching as soon as later this year. Plus, we got some information about AirTags and the iPhone 13. Pretty packed update today, so drop a like if you're excited. Hit subscribe for more Apple news so you don't miss a beat. You can't have your heart stop beating, you gotta subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so if there's like one thing on this channel that we have talked about more than anything else, cried about together, huddled in small groups, uh, and, and had support for, it's AirTags. We have been talking about AirTags forever. Like 99% of you know what this is. If you don't, in one sentence, it is Apple's upcoming tile competitor device that is a small circular hockey puck that's gonna help you track your lost things using augmented reality. And that my third grade teacher would be proud of because that was a heck of a compound sentence. Listen, I know you've heard about these a million times and they were supposed to launch in 2019 and then they got pushed back to 2020. And then Apple was like, oh, uh, nobody really leaves their house. So like probably not the best time to launch these anymore. So we are now hearing courtesy of John Prosser that these are coming in spring of 2021, which if you do the math, is uh, is meaning that we're gonna get it in, a, in under three months, but we also heard that a million times before and it didn't happen. What is exciting is for John Prosser, my paleo, again, he has shared some exclusive video of AirTags and we've never seen a 360 degree look like this before. Again, all credit goes to him, linking his channel down below. He has done some extensive, great reporting on AirTags, gave us our first look and now our first video look. I mean, these are, uh, these are a little bit more premium looking than I thought. When you look at a tile or even ironically, Samsung is working on some tags that are gonna be announced probably at their like event in January. Uh, Apples just tend to have a, I don't know, they have a bit of a flair that I haven't seen anywhere else in the market. And it's after seeing this video that I am more concerned than ever at what these are going to cost. Tile trackers cost about $20 and they're great. They use the entire tile network to find things. Apple is going to use Find My in the entire Apple ecosystem. I just feel like the buy-in after seeing these videos <laughs> might, be, might be a little bit higher. I mean, I don't know. If I had to guess, and this is based on no inside info, I would say minimum $49. I could very easily see these being positioned as $59 or $69 products. I think $39 would be pretty fair, but I, I think between $50 and $70 bucks for these, just because, I mean, it, it's Apple. And if they're gonna do the same thing that somebody else has already done, you can bet they're probably gonna charge more for their interpolation of that idea. My only other question was like, okay, how are you actually gonna like put these on things? And Chocobit Fudge got a hold of an image a few months back showing basically the, the accessory. We don't know if it's gonna be included. I hope that it is. Mark Gurman has also reported on this little keychain accessory. It's gonna be like leather, you slide your AirTag in and that's how it will attach to things. So, I mean, these seem like way nicer than anything else. I just, I don't know if the market of people buying these is gonna be like, could you give me the Apple variants? We, we don't take anything less than premium here. And, oh, what's that sport? You wanna join the soccer league at school? <laughs> Sorry, we just, we don't have the money this month. Next up for the iPhone 13, can you believe we're still talking about that? Is it supposed to be out by now? I know my patience is gone. No, but seriously, we've been talking a lot about the iPhone 13. We are expecting some models to have Touch ID come back, some to have the 120 Hertz display, which I'm so incredibly excited for. All models getting faster Wi-Fi 6E. And today we've heard from Digitimes for a second time now that likely all iPhone models are gonna be getting a pretty pro feature, the, the LiDAR sensor. Now, say what you will about LiDAR. I mean, it is not the most practical feature right now, but like Tim Cook just over and over again and all the top execs at Apple have been like, we're interested in AR, they keep pushing AR, and this leads into uh, the big surprise story for today. But they keep pushing AR and the LiDAR sensor is just one step closer to a better AR ecosystem where your iPhone, your iPad can all positionally know where things are. This is also gonna go in conjunction with the U1 spatial awareness chip, but all iPhones in 2021, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max should be getting the LiDAR sensor, which is kind of shocking for me just because like Apple has marketed this as like a, a higher end pro feature. Usually it takes a couple of years for that kind of thing to trickle down, but it seems like next year, Apple's already putting LiDAR on all of the iPhones. So like if you skipped it and you don't wanna spend a lot of money on your phone, you're gonna be getting this next year. It's gonna help with low light autofocus, low light portrait mode for like a sharper blur effect. And it helps with augmented reality like a lot. 
Like it, like it actually makes augmented reality kind of cool. In fact, it's augmented reality that has Apple and it seems like everybody else in the game working on some new wild stuff for 2021, which means that Apple's gonna be releasing a lot more of this, more adapters and dongles. No, I'm kidding, that's, that's not the actual surprise. The, the actual surprise is uh, this sort of wild idea that I, I have questions about because I know by now you've probably heard about like in two or three years down the road, Apple's working on on these. Have you guys ever seen me without glasses on? I know, I know. GQ, where's my callback? We're getting personal here because I wear glasses and I've worn them since I've been in like kindergarten. And it's actually very bright for some reason now that I've taken these off. But like wearing glasses, being a person that wears glasses, have I said glasses yet? Apple's working on a pair of these. Not like just like normal prescription glasses that have an Apple logo, because that would be, it would be kind of weird if they did that. But Apple is working on a pair of glasses that when you put them on, or maybe to make this like a POV, when you put them on, whoa, that looks weird. And is my, is my eyes that bad? Oh my God. But basically when you put these on your body, you're gonna be able to see things differently. Like if you would be watching this video right now, you might see the weather next to my head with AR glasses on. You might see your Twitter feed. It's gonna be like the future, basically. Obviously I have my doubts and questions about how you're gonna get the mass population to adopt glasses, but the idea itself is interesting. But notice how I said that's two or three years away. Obviously, today we're talking about something a bit more imminent. See, there's something in between the LiDAR sensor that we're at right now with augmented reality on the iPhone and even the iPad Pro and augmented reality AR Apple Glass, the super futuristic product coming maybe in 2022, but I would say way more likely 2023. We've got 2021 where we're at right now, the past, the future. And Apple has something as sort of a stopgap here, something to uh, gently introduce this idea of augmented reality in a much more tangible and meaningful way. It doesn't have a name, it's still really wrapped up, but for now, I'm gonna call it Apple headset. That's the simplest term, and it basically describes what this is. Obviously, you've seen the cheap way that you can get VR. You've seen that, right? With the Samsung VR, you've got Oculus. That's not even cheap. Like you get into Oculus or like the Vive stuff for virtual reality, but notice that stuff is all virtual reality. It is screens and displays in your eyes that completely block out the real world. And for a lot of people, it's kind of disorienting. Some people are super into it, but like as we've seen, you know, VR has been out for around 10 years now and it, it just hasn't taken off yet. Like the expenses to get the graphics cards and hardware is still so high. And even the, the game or interface support is still really, really limited. But Apple has an idea. They say between Apple Glass, we got this idea for an Apple headset that mixes in the best parts of virtual reality, but also starts to bridge the gap between virtual reality and the real world, and that's where augmented reality sits. German calls his headset advanced and says, it's designed to feature ultra high resolution screens that will make it almost impossible for a user to differentiate the virtual world from the real one. <laughs> Yo, what? A cinematic speaker system will make the experience even more realistic, people who have used the prototypes say. Now this is from months ago. We can only imagine how much further down in development this is, but I'm fascinated by this idea of screens that are so high resolution and so close to your face that you actually forget that you're in VR or AR. Cause that's always been the problem for me. It's like the screens are kind of low res or they look weird, or even if they are high res, like it's still like, oh, I'm looking at a screen. But if you're able to <laughs> have this screen that looks like the real world, I mean, that's got some pretty wild implications for the future. The headset is apparently mostly made of fabric. Obviously you wanna keep this pretty lightweight and they say it looks somewhat similar to what Oculus has out right now. That's why I've been using the Oculus as a lot of B-roll. And there's gonna be a separate app store just for apps made for, uh, it's actually called ROS. So instead of iOS or macOS, like reality operating system. And Apple's gonna have an emphasis, uh, of course, on gaming, which is weird to say Apple and gaming in the same sentence, but also on entertainment entertainment and virtual meetings. And how do we know it's coming this year? Well, Co says that Apple will be releasing an augmented reality product in 2021, but German with a slightly higher rating says that it's probably just gonna be announced in 2021 and then released in 2022. I mean, Apple did this with the Apple Watch. They announced it months, uh, I think like six to nine months ahead of when the, the watch actually released. So it seems like we could be seeing this this year. It just might not be available for purchase until even sometime next year. So I wanted to share the story 
story with you today just because it's something that I have not seen anyone else talking about. You probably have heard about the AR glasses. You've seen reporting, really great reporting on those, but you probably haven't heard much about the AR VR headset, which is actually coming way sooner, yet it'll share a lot of the same wild technological advances, and I can't wait. All right, drop a like if you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, hope you're doing well, and I'll catch you cool cats in my next video.